Hey guys, it's Tim and this is Pro Wrestling Unlimited. So tonight on SmackDown Live, General Manager Daniel Bryan revealed the first ever SmackDown Top 10 list and they said it's voted on by the SmackDown Live roster. So let's run down who made it in the first week's Top 10. Number 10, Ty Dillinger. Number 9, Randy Orton. Number 8, Becky Lynch. Number seven, the SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions, The Usos. Number six, The New Day. Number five, WWE United States Champion, Bobby Roode. Number four, Naomi. Number three, the 2018 Men's Royal Rumble winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. Number two, the SmackDown Live Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. And number one, the WWE Heavyweight Champion, AJ Styles. So that is the first week's rankings in the WWE SmackDown Live Top 10. I don't know if they're going to update this every single week, once a month, every other week. They didn't say that, but there are some superstars that were, were noticeably missing, like Rusev, Kevin Owens, and Sami Zayn. I was also shocked that they put the New Day ahead of the Usos. Does that kind of mean that they're... Looking to do a New Day Usos program yet again? And why was Ty Dillinger ranked in the top 10? What has he done on SmackDown to give himself any kind of credibility? So let me know your thoughts in the comments below on the first SmackDown top 10 list, who you would have changed, ranked differently, who you would have took out of the top 10, and who you would have put in their place. But that's going to do it for this episode. Remember to comment below, like, and share this video. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Subscribe here on YouTube and follow PWUnlimited.net for the latest in pro wrestling news.